Well, nine of the 32 people who have died from the coronavirus, <clears throat> excuse me, here in Nevada, apparently had diabetes as well. Medical experts say people with that disease are at a higher risk for complications. And as 8 News Now reporter Joe Moeller explains, it's when diabetes is not under control that complications can really be the worst. I've been diagnosed since 2008. Shondell Newsom lives in Henderson and is a diabetic. So I need to make sure that I stay focused on what I'm supposed to be doing as a type 2 diabetic. He says right now, more than ever, he needs to take his medication and exercise. He is always in contact with his doctor. He told me was as long as I am uh, in controlling my uh, my, my uh, blood sugar, um, it's not as it's not as dangerous. Roughly 10 percent of Americans are diabetic. The disease is an underlying condition that is a concern when it comes to COVID-19. Specifically, when we talk about people who have diabetes, it's not so much that they're more likely to get COVID-19, it's that they may have more complications. Those with the disease should be eating properly and exercising. Poorly controlled blood sugar can cause issues if someone were to get the virus. When you have an elevated blood sugar, um, that's really what's um, feeding the infection. And so if you have a virus and your immune system isn't able to respond appropriately, then you may have complications. The CDC recommends people with diabetes and other underlying health conditions should maintain at least a 30-day supply of medication, a two-week supply of food and other necessities, and knowledge of COVID-19 symptoms. Reporting in Las Vegas, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now. Now, the CDC also says it's important for those with those underlying health conditions to follow social distancing guidelines and to only leave the house for medical needs.